Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I've been aware of this video floating around for maybe a week or so, and uh, I, it was until today uh, I watched Unclean Hands. And by the way, if you haven't already, give Unclean Hands some love and head over to this channel and do some subscribing because he's awesome. Um, you know, I've watched a few videos talking about this specific case. So let's go ahead and preface this. Um, Whenever I was young, when I was in middle school, high school, and early in my college years, you know, you could probably classify me as some kind of stupid incel, like super creepy. And I'm just going to tell you, like, I used to love this girl to death, followed her everywhere, bought her all kinds of things, called her all the time, and just a creep. I was a creepy kid. I'm just going to tell you. And I know there's a lot of us um, men, women, um going through those ages that probably did the same thing you know you don't know what love is um you think that just because you buy something for this person you're buying love and in fact that's not entirely true at all you can't buy love uh you might be able to buy happiness or a hooker uh that i guess that counts as love i guess uh in a weird way but you know, you hear stories about incels. And like I said, when I was younger, uh, all the way up to my college years, uh, and a little bit after, I was a creep. Like, not not like a stalker, rapey person. You know, I was in relationships. And a lot of the times when I was trying to be in relationships, I was just, buy, 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 buy. I've got money here. Here, buy me love. Date me, please. Um, and then... You know, I started getting in actual relationships and learning all this stuff. And now I'm married. But back in the day, there's, you know, I was I was a fucking creep. Uh, and I'm not afraid to admit that. It's, it's embarrassing. If I was able to have a time machine and go back, I'd kick my own ass and be like, hey, don't fucking do that. But anyways, you hear these stories uh, about these guys that follow these women around, stalking them, asking, you know personal questions and trying to control them like trying to have some type of dominance on women and that gets me to the case of uh this guy i forgot his name his name was let me guess let me see what here not let me guess yerkes jacob yerkes or something like that um and this is creepy this is creepy and uh, i want to play some of the video here um that way you can kind of see what i'm talking about um so let me go ahead and get started here. The Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know. Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there and I was in the other parking lot and I saw her get in her car. And I, saw, I was like, oh shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her and she pulled away from me. And uh, so I chased her a little bit just cause I'm, I don't know, women are crazy. Like I felt like she like wanted me chasing. Do you not think chasing somebody? All right, so there we go for the first part. Like uh, the guy thought, Hey, let me woo her with my music. And you can go and you listen to this music. It's it's like it's really shitty, like hardcore punk screaming and yelling. And it was awful. It's awful music. Terrible music. You know, I guess music is something to somebody. But this wasn't music. This was just like, I want to rip my damn heart out and just throw it across the street. Let it get hit by some kind of semi truck and get shot on by a dog. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. You, I mean, I don't have to play it because it's there. You can listen to it. But apparently this guy, he works with this girl, uh, I guess for a while. And, um, he decides to try to woo her with music. I guess he's had many advances to towards this girl and she's not interested. So what's he do? He finds her in his car, goes to her and tries to do it. She runs away drives away and he chases her not 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 already to a bad start 
uh, and a really bad start. I mean, it's a pretty bad start. But let's go ahead and continue. Let's kind of continue see what happens next. All right. That's crazy. Well, it's just like I, I only went like a couple blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they when they obviously don't want to? Well, I had my song playing, and I wanted to like her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently, she didn't want to hear it, right? So, what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um. Well, anyways. All right, and even even the cop at this point, this cop's already like, "Oh man, you are a creep. You're fucking creepy." Girls don't like to be chased, okay? Uh, I don't. I I mean, I I don't know that. I'm not. A, I'm not a woman. I I don't know. But I would assume, you know, I wouldn't personally want somebody to be chasing me, uh, somebody, uh, either sex, chasing me to try to get me to listen to music and try to make some type of advance. And this, uh, this cop really knows. He's like, okay, this guy's creepy. Uh, obviously, you shouldn't be chasing women. And his whole rebuttal, the, the uh, Vectus guy, I fuck his name, I don't care. Um, you know, he says, women are crazy. Now I can't I can't comment on that because I don't think all women are crazy. Uh, they're no more crazier than what most men are. Uh, just let's just be honest. Uh, if this video says anything, say hey, men are crazy too. Uh, so it's not just it's not a one sided thing. Men and women can be crazy, and this just kind of proves that hey, this man or child, man child incel, um, yeah, he's crazy. Her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me. Like, but he, he's like cussing did at me. he said that or he did say that? He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing his daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. A little no, bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. Well, don't like to be what about like if I was a porn. father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDS and porn, where women like to be have rape fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? What most women do like having rape fantasies. Okay. Do, you... do they? Do they though? I mean, honestly, I don't think so. I don't think so. And like immediately, this is this is your justification. Oh, well, in BDS and porn, women like to be dominated by men or vice versa. Uh, m women also like to be raped. They like to have rape fantasies. Now, I'm not saying that's not a fact, because uh, I'm sure there's people that gets off on certain things. Um, honestly, I think rape is disgusting. Um, it's one of the worst things you could possibly do. I don't know why uh, fantasizing about rape is any want to do anybody good. I, I don't think. I think that's kind of weird. Uh, and just immediately going to the BDSM porn. It's like, what kind of fucking fantasy do you have, man? Like, this girl's definitely not interested in you. Um, you can't base uh, your perception of women on, on porn. You just can't do that. I mean, um, you just can't. I mean, you. let's be honest. Uh, a porn can last for an hour. I can last three minutes in the bedroom at tops. I, you know, I wish I had that fantasy of making it one hour. Into, we're not here to talk about porn, but this guy's, and I know that's a, that's a turn off to some people, but this is immediately what this guy goes to saying, hey, because of porn, she's like this. Um, obviously not the best way of doing it. Do you think she does? I don't know. But Apparently she don't. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do to me. Do you know his name? I know his daughter's name. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. Fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing is she needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, you gotta understand. Listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She's, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's, that's fine. Now, okay, let's let's just put this. I I you know I have a niece, uh, I have a wife, I have a mother, I have a sister. Uh, you know I have a uh, 
sister-in-law. I have aunts and cousins. Now, you know, there's a lot of things you would do for your family. Me, I love my niece so much that I would take a bullet for her. If some motherfucker, you know, she turns 18 years old, and some guy like this started doing stuff, I would literally get in trouble for beating the guy back in black and blue. I, I, I would get in trouble. Uh, I, but I would take that, um, and as a father, I, I would imagine that's pretty, um, I'd, I, I'd imagine that's, those thoughts would be even worse, because, uh, you're going to protect your daughter, you're going to protect your son, Ugh, I can't even talk, guys, I can't talk, uh, this, this kind of video just makes me cringe, like, so bad, um, but, you know, the guy is protecting his daughter, and of course, you're going to say some things if some stranger is trying to hurt something you love. I, I'm guilty of saying things, too. You know, if, if somebody was to say something like that to my niece, uh, all gloves are off. I want to say some pretty vile shit. Um, now, you can take things too far. But as a father, that's a totally different thing. Like, uh, I don't know what it's like like to be a father. I, I, and I never will. Uh, thank God. But, you know, I'm sure some of you guys out there watching this, uh, you probably has, think the same way. Like, hey, you're not going to mess with my uh, my blood. Like, it'd rather it be your son or your daughter or whatever. Um, you're not going to stand up for that. And, you, of course, you're going to go after um, something that's going to physically hurt or mentally hurt uh, your family, your blood. It's just the way it is. And, uh, the father has all right to do that. Uh, now, the father decided to beat the shit out of the guy. Yeah, I mean, that could be pushing it. But if... Yeah, I mean, it's warranted. It's warranted at this case. Not, you know, I couldn't blame him if he did find a guy and just beat the fucking brakes off of him. Um, that's, you know, I, I'd probably do the same thing if I had a kid, but I don't. That's fine. That's that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well, so he's like, oh, she should do porn. This cop at this point, he's fed up. He's sick. He's sick of what he's hearing here. Like he's already gone to porn. He's going to rape. Now he's uh, going back to porn, circling around, saying that she should do it. Now later on, it maybe a couple of minutes in here. Uh, it's going to get even worse. Um, really, really stupid, actually. And you'll see what I'm talking about. We're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on... I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with arrest? I'm rest? not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. Uh, this We're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you, if, you, if, you, if you do that on public property, I'll... You know, I'll leave you're, under... You're free, you're free to do whatever you want to do right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave. Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity. I mean, the choice at that point would be, no, I'm not interested. Guy, walk away. That, sh that should have been the thing. It's like... The, the lady, the woman, the girl should have been like, hey, I'm not interested. Please leave me alone. Guy should have been like, okay, I get it. Walks away. Uh, the cop gets it. Uh, you notice the uh, incel is like, hey, I'm on public property. I get... He's following the whole uh, internet uh, auditor thing, which, uh, like I said, I'm, I can't really just say it's on auditors. I'm sure he watched some of those videos and was like, oh, it's public. I You know, I have some domain on public uh property which the cops like hey okay fuck around find out and this is kind of what they're getting ready to do and i'm sorry i'm all over the place with this this is actually like i said uh watching this kind of stuff's pretty uh pretty disgusting to be honest you need to make a choice because i'm gonna blow up and i'm gonna be a famous I, dj and i'm gonna be how, like how old is she uh two years older than me 27 how much 27 she's old enough to make her own mind I'll speak with her. Is she working today? Uh, I think so. Do you have her phone number? Uh, I believe so. Uh, but I can't stop recording the video. Well, that's okay. I'll go buy her job. She works at right? Correct. Okay, I'll speak with her and then I'll get back with you, okay? All righty, sounds All good. Right, go. no Thank problem. you, guys.
No, I don't know if they call that the walk of shame. I think at this point, the boy, uh, whatever he is, um, you know, he's walking back to his car. You know, it, it's it's bad that he's got her information, uh, phone number, uh, address, and he works for. Her. So this girl's probably been, uh, you know, been terrorized by this guy. Um, again, not cool, not cool at all, not cool at all. The cops know this, not cool. Uh, you know, the cops couldn't do anything since he was on public grounds, uh, but I do believe they do interview the girl. And, you know, I would assume if I if it was me um, and I was in that situation, uh, yeah, you know, I'd be worried about my life. Uh, I'd feel threatened about it. And, you know, I would tell the police, like, yeah, I feel threatened by this guy. This guy's uh, obviously creepy. I don't know what he's capable of. But, yeah, like... It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, and he acts like this is a normal thing. This is how uh, this shit works. Uh, women like being chased. Women like being terrorized. Uh, women like rape. I, I don't know where he gets this. And he's a young guy. I, I guess he. What do you say? He was twenty-seven, or he was thirty. I, I don't know. You shouldn't be acting like this at that age. You should probably know a little bit more about how love and relationships work before you before you go down that road before you go you don't want to go down that road now now you remember what i said it's 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 going to get uh, a little worse actually just the thing he says here and i'll explain here in a second We'll watch him have his uh, little sad walk to his car. So let's let's continue. Hello, shit. You know what? Lindsay's dad. I hope you see this fucking video. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves. bad shit happens now that's an absolute threat uh, i i don't know about you but that seems like a threat now look at this guy he already looks like a creep he's got his hipster hair and you know and i can't say anything i got a, I got a beard his beards i guess it's okay uh he looks like a creep he looks ex exactly what you probably expected when playing this like playing this video he looks like a creep uh but him, he made a threat already made a threat and you know it's on video it's on video at this point he posted it on youtube posted it on twitter lots of people have seen how creepy this guy now he is in jail which is awesome um i i do hope the girl and the dad gets a restraining order but that was a threat that was definitely a threat let's continue i don't know something um the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. Something is wrong about that. I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent LGBT shit that has her. All right, so he, I understand like the woke thing. I don't really do the woke thing. Um, you know, I believe in LGBTQ rights. Uh, this girl, she's a lesbian, and he thinks he can make her straight through the power of music. Um, am I wrong there? He wants to show her his music prowess and hopefully turn her straight so they can be together and walk off romantically. Um, one thing, you can't change that. I don't, you know, you can't. You can't. I, I don't. I don't think that's right to try to change somebody's sexuality because uh, you you just love them or you know, or any reason to be honest with you. Like uh, you know, I have gay friends. Uh, you know, on both sides of the aisle. Like it, I wouldn't change them for the world. Uh, but this guy has a problem with the LGBTQ community. He already has that chip on his shoulder. Um, he's like, well. Uh, this, this woman loves another woman. Uh, I'm not good enough, but I'm going to get her, damn it. I'm going to get her through the power of music. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to just 
let her play my music. I'm going to make the gay go away, and she is going to be with me forever. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't get that. I don't get it. Why, why would you? I, we'll, we'll continue. We'll continue before I just go off rails. Right now, and her father is controlling the bullshit. I just don't see it. I'm older than your fucking father. That's how I feel right now. Now he said he's older than her father. Now this is that's kind of weird. Um, I thought he said he was 27 or 30. I forget. Uh, making the girl quite young. Like, was she in her teens? Is that what I'm missing here? I didn't pay attention to the age of the female. Um, but you know, he's saying that the father is controlling her, uh, taking away her free will. Um, she doesn't know uh, what love is, or something. Oh, thank you, kitty cat. Thank you. But it, <laughs> anyways, sorry about that. Um, he's trying to blame the father one thing, and he's trying to blame the fact that uh, you know she just doesn't like guys. Whoop de fuck it do. Uh, she likes what she likes. Uh, there's no change in that. Um, that's my opinion. I don't think you should change somebody's sexuality or what they prefer. Uh, what's the what's the term? Not sexuality. Uh, I, I guess. I guess that's what it is. I'm not really good at talking about uh, that stuff. I'm just not. I'm just terrible at it. But um, I, I don't get it. I just don't understand this guy. Um, maybe maybe I'm just too old. To understand but let's let's finish up the video I've lived this life I've been the greatest I've been down and I've been about I don't know where this is going but um fucking snakes man she was gonna lure me in a trap whenever I was gonna go you know play a song for her it's just how it is but uh, shout out to all my bros. I know that my dudes. You know, I'm, I'm like I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. I feel like uh, yeah, it's not faking. Okay, so mental health, mental health. It, it kind of boils down to that, right? I, that's what I kind of feel. I feel like this is a case of mental health unchecked um and this is why i think it's important for people to get help before shit like this happens um you know most most men uh most women probably don't think that way right they don't think like he's thinking so there's already something wrong with this guy's head uh at the beginning here he's, there's already something wrong here um, you know, at the end of it, it just kind of shows it like when he says he's depressed and he, uh, doesn't have much faith in humanity. Um, this guy should have been checked in a long time ago. Um, this guy should have been, as soon as these, uh, behaviors started happening, this guy should have been checked in. This guy should have been medicated, uh, gone through classes, uh, you know, just seeing seeing people, getting a therapist or a counselor or something. Um, and, you know, this, like I said, this is those kind of behaviors, um, you know, it should be kept in check. Uh, what What's to say? What's to say? I, and I believe he's in jail now. Um, and I don't know if the girl filed... Uh, restraining orders or if there's anything like that on him. I'm assuming that's probably what the case is. Um, but this could have got been a whole lot worse. Um, honestly, this could have been way worse. Um, the girl could have got killed. The dad could have got killed. Uh, the girl could have got raped. Um, anything could have happened. Uh, and, you know, the father, in my opinion, had full rights to say, hey, don't fuck with my daughter or I'm going to hurt you. Um, and like I said, if somebody was to fuck with my wife, uh, my niece, my cousins, my mom, my sister, 
uh, or just my family in general, hell yeah, I'm going to protect them, uh, and I'm going to say some pretty fucking crazy things. Um, you know, I, I would make threats because, you know, it's human nature to take care of people you love. It's just the way it is. Um, uh, but I mean, that's, that's my opinion. Uh, I, I think this guy is a creepy and so I, you know, I, I've been off all over this video. This is a terrible video one just cause I can't speak. Um, but Again, I, you know, I, I stress when I talk about mental health stuff, you know, I stress, um, and, you know, from experience, whenever I was a creepy teen, uh, creepy college kid, or a little bit after, like, you know, I, I wasn't going to rape somebody, you know, the most I ever did was call, call or continuously buy stuff for this person, like, oh, love me, here's more things, uh, yeah, it's, it's stupid, it's stupid. Uh, you you know, as a 30 or 40 year old person, you would probably be over this kind of stuff. But that kid's stuck in his own fucking world. Um, you know, sorry, <laughs> it's just kind of stuck in some kind of weird uh, mental state. But it's it's quite honestly, it's dangerous. Um, and I hope I hope the guy gets help. I really do. I hope he gets help. Um, because it's, it's kind of important at this point, um, at this point, he's too dangerous to be left alone or n in the vicinity of these people. You know, I'm going to assume he probably lost his job from this because uh, they both work together and, you know, tensions are high on there. So I would assume either one of them quit or he got fired, uh, give or take. That's what I think. Uh, I, and I could be wrong. Could be totally wrong. But uh, what did you guys think about this? Uh, this this is a case of incel. This is an incel. Um, you you can't buy me love. You can't you can't you can't woo some chick with the power of music. Doesn't matter uh, if you're Kevin Levine or Meatloaf. Um, yeah, it's that's stupid. Is that a stupid point? That's a dumb point. That's a dumb point. But in my opinion, yeah, the guy's an incel. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.